Hey everybody, this is Matt. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Let It Fade by Jeremy Camp. This is a requested video from one of my YouTube watchers. Thanks for the request. This is, uh, this is the second request I've gotten for a guitar lesson, which is kind of funny, you know, me being a drummer. But um, I'm happy to do it, and, uh, you know, keep them coming. I appreciate it. Um, so in this video, this, this song sort of has a few different parts. Um, the, there's like a main riff that you will hear throughout the song. So I'll go over the riff, and I'll go over the chords. There's really only four chords in this song, and they're just, you know, pretty much standard uh, chords, nothing too outlandish. So I'll go over the chords, and uh, just kind of go over the parts of the song. But uh, this... Um, this song is by far one of my favorite Jeremy Camp songs. I think he's just, a, you know, just an amazing uh, artist. He's by far one of my favorite Christian artists. And uh, I just think he's a brilliant musician. So let's get started with Let It Fade by Jeremy Camp. Okay, since this is a video lesson, I figured I would just go ahead and start with the chords. And I'm not sure who's going to be watching this video, if you're familiar with open chords or not. I don't know. But since this is a lesson, I'll go ahead and just go over the chords real quick. So the chords for the song are E minor, D, A, and B minor. So the E minor, I've got my first and second fingers on the second fret of the A string and the D string, and you just play all six strings. That's E minor. For the D, it's just an open D. You got your open D string, and then I've got my first finger, first finger, second fret of the G string, my uh, middle finger, second fret of the high E string, and then my ring finger, third fret of the B string, and you just play in the bottom four strings. That's an open D. For the open A, I just sort of keep my first finger where it is on the second fret of the G string and just slide back a little bit, staying at the second fret, and then I squeeze my middle finger and uh, my ring finger on the D string and the G string at the second fret. So you're playing from the fifth string, the A, down bottom five strings. All right, that's an open A. And then for the B minor, that's a bar chord. So I've got my first finger barred all the way across the second fret, all six strings. And then for the uh, for the rest of your fingers, fourth fret, uh, uh, D and G strings, I've got my ring finger and pinky finger there. And I've got my middle finger on the third fret of the B string. And like I said, I'm barred all the way across six strings at the second fret. Because that's your, well actually, sorry, you're playing from the 5th string down, that's a B, so that's a B minor, okay, so E minor, D, A, and B minor, okay, so those are the four chords. Uh, now the song sort of starts off with the riff, and again, I apologize for having to go quickly, but you know, YouTube has like a 15 minute time constraint, so it's going to be sort of quick. So the riff is actually broken up into four separate parts. The first part, I've got my, uh, my ring finger, seventh fret of the G string, and then my middle finger sort of placed on the sixth fret of the, uh, the G string. And then I'm playing my open D. So seventh fret of the G, that's also a D. So that first part, you're just bouncing between Ds, just octave Ds. Part. And then for the second part of that riff, I lift up my ring finger, and I've got my middle finger, 6th fret of the G string. That's a C sharp, so you're going between uh, D and C sharp. Alright, so that first part. Okay, so D to D, and then D to C sharp. Now the third part of the riff, you're going up and grabbing your open A. So you're going A, D. D, D. So, 5th string, 3rd string, 4th string, 3rd string. Okay? 5th string, 3rd string, 4th string, 3rd string. Alright, you're going A, D, D, D. And then, for the last part of the riff, I take my middle finger and grab the 7th fret of the low E. That's a B note. So, you're going 6th string, 3rd string, 4th string, 3rd string. You're going B, D, D, D. And this is probably the hardest part of the song if you're not used to string skipping and you know upstrokes, downstrokes, because it's basically just down, up, down, up. 
Uh, that's what I'm doing for each part. Just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay? So it's D, uh, D to D, then D to C sharp. And then A, open A. B. A. And then grab that B again. Alright. And that's when the verse starts. So let me just play along with that first part so you can see the changes and get an idea for the timing and whatnot. just repeats again. All right? So that's the riff. And like I said, that's probably the hardest part of the song. That may take a little practice. Okay? So from after that first verse, it goes into the chord. Chorus, it's E minor, E minor to D, A, E minor, D, A, B minor, okay? A quick little A to B minor. E minor, D, and then you sort of end on A, and then it goes back to the riff again. So the you know second verse, then it does a chorus again. Let me just get to that part. Let's see here. E minor D A B minor E minor D A. Yeah, that part right there, what I'm doing, or, or at least what I'm hearing, is, uh, this is, um, you know, what I would call a bridge section. And what I'm hearing is sort of uh, bouncing between a D-sus-4, an open D, and a D-sus-2. Okay. So if you take your open D like I showed you... You grab if you put your pinky on the third fret of the high E, you're grabbing a G note. That's the fourth. That's a D sus four. And then you, if you just lift up your pinky, you know you just go back to a regular open D. And then if you lift up your middle finger uh, where it was on the uh, second fret of the E string, which is an F sharp, what you're playing in an open D. If you lift up your middle finger. Playing a, uh, you're playing an E. That's the second. Okay, so it's D sus four, D, D sus two, D. Well, that's what I'm hearing at that part. Then that second part of the bridge, when the vocals kick back in, it pretty much stays on E minor. And then goes back to that D thing. Alright, let me play that part real quick. Back up just a little bit. E minor. Yeah, 
minor. So sort of an E minor to that D thing again. Okay. Then the next part of the bridge, it goes between E minor and B minor. So I'll play that part. Yeah, E minor. B minor. Back to the chorus. E minor, D, A, B minor, E minor, D, A. And then back to that D thing. End on A. After that, E minor, D. Okay, end on A. Back it up just a touch. A. And then back to the riff. Now that last chord, it's tabbed out to end on D as far as all the, you know, the online searches I've done for chord charts and tabs for this song. They've got it ending on D. That's not what I'm hearing though. I'm not hearing, I'm not hearing D. I'm hearing what would be like a G5 with a D in the bass. And the way I'm doing that, I'm just barring across the B and the E string at the third fret. So you're playing D, G. And then you're playing an open D and an open G. So it's D, G, D, G. So the bottom three strings, that would be the equivalent of a, you're like a G5, but you're adding another D in the bass. So it'd be like a G5 slash D. Okay, that's what I'm hearing that last chord. I'll let you hear it. And you, you, know, you can decide if I'm, if I'm hearing this right or not. That's what I'm hearing. Kind of a nice sounding chord, actually. Okay, uh, but yeah, yeah, that's that's sort of the gist of "Let It Fade" by Jeremy Camp. It's an awesome song with an awesome message, and I appreciate the uh, the request. And I apologize for having to go so quickly, but again, you know, YouTube has a time constraints on the video. Uh, but I hope this was helpful. Um, just trying to think uh, as far as strum pattern. I, I didn't really touch on the strum pattern because people may play it differently. But what I'm doing basically for the strum pattern, let me just turn the guitar down a little bit. It's it's almost like a down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. That's kind of the basic strum pattern. It's kind of like a down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So that's, that's kind of what I'm doing as far as strum pattern. But, you know, you could listen to it and, you know, you could figure out what works for you. Uh, but again, thanks for watching and I appreciate the request. You know, um, you know, once again, this is like a learning experience for me, you know, being a drummer, giving guitar lessons. Uh, but this is pretty cool. I enjoy it. So uh, thanks very much and we'll see you next time.